What's going on? Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video. So, fair warning. If you're not a Linkin Park fan and you don't like reaction channels reacting to the same band over and over and over again, then probably don't come back to my channel for the next few days because we are going to be starting right now with the Linkin Park Meteora album. For those of y'all immediately thinking, why not the Hybrid Theory album? Chill the fuck out. It will happen. Their second album that they put out, we're going to be reacting from the first song to the last song in order, and we're not going to stop until we're finished. Now, I'm going to skip over the songs I've already reacted to. So first off, we got the intro called Forward. Now, that's just about 14 seconds that bleeds into the next song. So we're going to say that we're reacting to the song Don't Stay today, but we're actually going to start with the first song and go into the Don't Stay. So let's get it. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. How to turn the damn light on my computer because I'm white as Casper. All right, let's get it. Hope y'all are having a dope-ass day today. If you're not, enjoy this mustache and enjoy this five to ten minutes of a reaction and just escape, okay? Focus our energy somewhere else aside from all the bullshit, the fight you just had, the breakup you just had. Forget it. Fucking forget it! Let's dive into some Linkin Park. Forward, right into Don't Stay. Let's get it. Shit's about to get crazy now. Dude, that is just the way to start off a project. I mean, slap my ass and call me Betsy because that shit is nuts, man. Seriously, there's something about Chester's voice that's just like grainy, you know, and relatable. I loved it, man. And the, the DJ scratches the... 
uh, you know, whatever, whatever the hell that was. It's really interesting because right off the bat and throughout this entire song, I felt like this was about a person. It sounded like this song was about a relationship that was born to die from the very beginning, but doing a little bit of research, the song was actually a subliminal diss aimed at their old label management who tried to destroy them. Their old label tried to tell Mike that he should not rap and should just play keyboard, and then some guy at the label tried to claim he wrote all their songs. Now, many of the tracks off this album are disses aimed at their label, so maybe that's just a subliminal, not the main message of the song, but it was definitely a subliminal message in there. So, start it off with a fucking banger, dude. With that being said, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the song. Let's this video. That's all I... Whoa, excuse me. Jesus Christ. That is all I got for you today, so keep smiling. Keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact, though. Yeah. Love you guys. I better fucking see you for somewhere I belong. Yeah. Oh, hey! Either way it goes, I was born to be a screw-up. Do the wrong thing and I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, crew, got my back like pull-ups. Sipping on the liquor, but it goes straight through us. Squad full of killers and a swag like Jewish. You got a squad full of